often. Come with me. Yes. Come with me. Um, hi, I'm Chris. Without the volunteers, there is no project, there is no provision, there is no delivery. They are the backbone of every aspect of what this operation does. <laughs> because they're utterly inspirational, every single one of them. Couldn't do it without them. My name's Chris, I'm the Depot Operations Supervisor at Fairshire Central in South East Scotland. Food comes from a variety of sources, right down at the bottom of the ladder, which we call the home waste. So these are people in their kitchens, in their gardens, picking cherries off the trees, taking things out of the cupboards that you think other people would want to eat. The rest comes from two main sources, agriculture, straight from the farm, picked out the ground, sent to us. National supermarkets such as Tesco and Corp support us massively, and then we have big brands that help us out, international growers like Kellogg's and Unilever that send us a great majority of our products as well. The logistics here are a challenge, but there's no bad weeks. At the end of it all, we've served nearly 5,000 individual meals. types of charities that we support are wide and varied. But something I'm most excited about is the childhood support that we give to the primary schools, the breakfast clubs, the after school projects and everything that encourages healthy food in young people. We don't work for a charity, we work for an enterprise and that's the idea, is that we give people the power to move on themselves. from Yarra Fisheries just was on the phone he's got a thousand trout that he wants to bring in. Oh, amazing. So we're going to head in the car now and head down to Selkirk to see him and understand a bit, why, a bit more reasons why this is oh. brilliant. So I'm just going to quickly explain the logistics process um, of what we do when we um, receive a donation like this. Um, what usually happens is the supplier gets in touch with us and tells us what they would like to donate. We then let the depot know so they can be prepared for the donation and what happens is that the, uh, the food supplier will either deliver the food to us or we will go out and collect the food using the vans and the volunteers sort through the food. We do then sort of build orders for the charities according to their needs and requirements. Um, and then the food is distributed to the charity by either them coming to collect it from the depot or we go and deliver it in the van. Because of the more unusual nature of this donation of a thousand live trouts, we're actually going to go down to the farm and meet Stephen um, and chat to him about this. Signs down to the arrow fishery. But he said that it was in the house. No, but I think I wonder if that meant the turn. I think it's further down. Do you think? Yeah. The reason I donated the fish to Fair Show was uh, after watching the film I, Daniel Blake, I kind of thought, what could I do? Um, I did originally try and donate uh, dead fish, but wet fish, fresh fish. And, um, and then I thought maybe I could get them smoked, which means they're then packaged, they're ready so to eat, and they've got a long shelf life. So and like to be fair, they them. probably taste nice as well. It's quite a luxury item. Most people um, can't afford it, and I just thought it'd be really nice for people to try it. And it's also, it also promotes the product. People who wouldn't normally be able to buy it uh, or couldn't afford to buy it will actually be able to eat it and try it and hopefully um, maybe buy it again in the future for the rest of their lives, hopefully. So here it is, Stephen's trout, smoked, packaged, and ready to be distributed across our network. At Fairshare, we redistribute on average 28 tonnes of food a month to over 100 charities across central and south east Scotland. 
In turn, they feed over 7,000 people every week. At Fairshare, we tackle the problem of food waste in the food industry supply chain and support the flourishing of local communities and local charities. Come and join us!